Hi, everyone. Pam Friedman, Certified Divorce Financial Analyst, here with my 30 tips in 30 days from financiallyfitdivorce.com. Today, I want to talk a little bit more about the emotional side of divorce, even though I'm a hardcore financial analyst and I love a spreadsheet. I do get to see some really fantastic transitions for my clients. They were very concerned at the beginning of their divorce, when you pin down what was really happening with all their stress and concern, and they're going to live under a bridge. And I'm sure you've seen all these things on TV with all that stress, what they really were concerned about is that loss of identity. They identi identified themselves as someone's wife, as someone's mother. And by the way, that stuff doesn't go away. You're still going to be someone's mom. They've identified themselves as a stay at home mom. And they know that the transition through divorce is going to be truly that, a transition. They may be transitioning not only because a lot of divorces happen when the kids are teenagers or in just in college or just a little bit beyond that. That's where we see the biggest growth of divorce. There's a, a lot of changes that are not just related to the divorce. You're now thinking about getting a new career, starting small again, which is really hard. You may have been a very successful parent and that's where you get your pride and your feeling of accomplishment and your kids are now leaving the house successfully because of you. Remind yourself of that. You can take that those same factors and apply them to your future life. You're going to get work and it will lead to better work and it will lead to a career. You're going to get retraining. The worst thing you can do is take no action at all or say to yourself, all that negative talk, I can't do this. I've never done this. I haven't worked in 20 years. I haven't worked in 10 years. I don't know. I have the skills anymore. I don't have the internet skills or the, I can't, I can't use Excel. There are courses for that. Take action. There's a lot of courses on Excel. Um, I feel like I should run one because I'm really good at Excel, but it's, it, you it, take a step, even if it's one small step, take a short course somewhere, build up your confidence, try to keep that overwhelm and anxiety down and think about the opportunity to change your identity rather than this is just terrible and I'm losing who I was. There is the other side in all of my clients. I've worked over on, worked on over a hundred divorces. Each and every one of them is feeling better, doing better. They're doing different things. They did have a change in their identity and that change is, is tough at the time, but they're so happy afterwards. I had a client call me and talk about what a puddle she was in in her divorce while she was on, the, on her way to New York with her new boyfriend. This stuff really happens. You will be fine. You need to drink water, get some rest, eat right. Don't drink alcohol, especially the day of your mediation. And I'm wishing you the best. I'm pulling for you, even though I don't know you. So again, financiallyfitdivorce.com. Uh, please consider, we have a course online, some training on the financial aspects. Uh, and, and we will see you back here in our 30 tips in 30 days.